I made my first million dollars at age 25 and then went on to make another several million dollars since then. In this video, I'm going to be explaining exactly what I would do if I were starting over from scratch and had to make my first million dollars all over again. This is going to be one of those videos that moves at a rather quick pace, but it's going to cover a ton of really valuable information. So sit back, relax, and let's get straight into this video. So the first question that I would be asking if I wanted to make my first million dollars all over again is what am I going to sell? No matter what anyone says, if you are going to be making money in this world, you have to be selling something. Now, this isn't necessarily hard sales or calling someone and trying to sell them something. Think of selling in a different way. Think of it as transferring value. So you are coming up with something that has value to someone else, and what you are doing is transferring it to them in exchange for money. So with that being said, what I would personally be doing is remembering the concept that the easiest thing to sell is someone else's product. Now, you may be wondering, why would you sell someone else's product when you can come up with your own product yourself and potentially make more money on every sale? Well, the reason here is coming up with what that valuable product is and packaging that in a way that it has a good enough offer that someone else is willing to exchange money for it is actually extremely hard to do. This is something that big companies spend a lot of time focusing on to make sure that their product is the one that customers in a market are choosing to purchase. So what does this mean for you and me? Well, what this means is that there's no point in spending all this time trying to create your own product when you already have proven products out there. What a lot of people don't know is that there's a business model called affiliate marketing, which is basically where you can refer people to big companies products and those big companies pay you a commission every time someone purchases through your unique link. Now, just knowing this much already moves us so much further along in starting our business and making a million dollars because the great product, the great offer, and having a great market out there that's purchasing that product is already figured out for us. And then the way that we're going to make money is figured out for us as well. By looking up big companies and seeing which ones have affiliate programs, you can join them entirely for free and they will tell you exactly what the commission is that they will pay you every time you bring them a customer. So just like that, you have a fully functioning business model that costs you absolutely nothing to get started with. Now, if you're watching this and you don't have any experience with affiliate marketing, if you've never heard of it before, if you've never done any kind of online marketing and you're a little bit worried if this could work for you, let me just say that affiliate marketing is 100% beginner friendly. You need no prior experience for anything here. You're not doing any hard sales or anything. I'll explain this a little bit more as we get through this video. And ultimately, the way to think about this business model of what kind of content you're going to be creating is just to think about the question of when your friends ask you for advice on different products or things that you own in your home, what do you tell them? For instance, when someone says, hey, I know you have that vacuum cleaner and I've been looking at it, I'm interested in it. Do you like it? What's the response that you tell them about that vacuum cleaner? That's your honest opinion about the vacuum cleaner, the good things, the bad things, and ultimately, do you recommend it to them? This is all you have to do for this business model, is sharing your experience with different products that you've owned, and then you have your affiliate link to the product, so ultimately, if it's a product that you recommend, people can click your link and they can go purchase it. So now hopefully we're on the same page as to what affiliate affiliate marketing is. Now let's get into the good part of the video as to what exactly I would be doing and how I would be doing affiliate marketing to make a million dollars. So the first thing to know here is that there's two main ways to do affiliate marketing. One is you can create your own website and then you can write blog articles. It's basically just text articles answering the questions that we just spoke about. Would you recommend this product? What's a review of this product? And then alternatively, the other way to do it is by creating videos and posting them to YouTube answering the same thing, but either on camera or having your camera facing the other way, showing the product in your hand. Now, those are the two main ways to do affiliate marketing, creating the same type of content, one's text, one's on video. However, things have changed in the last couple of years that are extremely important for this. There has been a rise in artificial intelligence tools, and there's a tool specifically called ChatGPT, which is a free tool to use that anyone can use. And you can basically say, write me a full blog article about this product. And and it goes on and it writes you an entire article that you can then copy and paste onto your website and post that onto Google. What this means for you and me is that if you are going to try the first route of creating a website and writing text articles, 
you are going to be competing with so many more people than before because so many people are using ChatGPT to try to take a shortcut and cut us out of the Google search results. So that means that that first route is a lot more competitive and a lot harder to make money than it used to be. So that leaves us with the other route. This is a route that I've started a couple years ago doing all of my research, putting videos out there and seeing how it works. And I've already made over a million dollars in commissions from, and it has costed me a lot less money than creating a website. It's actually a lot easier than creating a website. It has made me a lot more money a lot faster than creating a website. And the last thing is there's barely any competition because 99% of the people out there are never going to consider creating a video and posting it on YouTube. And really they just don't know the easy ways to create these videos to get them posted. So with that being said, in a second here, I'll switch over to the computer and you can see all of this step-by-step step, what you actually need to do. However, the first thing I wanna say before we get into this is that I have personally taught people who initially said, there's no way I'm going to create a video and post it on YouTube. And now they are creating videos and posting it on YouTube and just thankful that they actually push themselves to do it because it's actually a lot easier than you think. And then the last thing before we get into the computer here is I just wanna show you a visualization. So when people are creating YouTube videos, they think that in order to be successful, they have to have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of views. Well, in reality, if you're creating YouTube videos that are about a specific product and you're giving your experience with that product, then you really don't need a very large audience size. You don't need many people to watch that video for them to click on your link and actually go make a purchase. So taking a look at these visualizations, this is basically going to show you what an amount of people looks like in a group. So if you get 50 views on your video, this is a room that's roughly this big. Now imagine you are the one presenting this and you were explaining that if you liked a vacuum cleaner or if you didn't like a vacuum cleaner, all of the people who have come and found your video, so everyone in this room is considering that specific vacuum cleaner and they've already gotten themselves to that point. So basically they just need to know, should I buy the vacuum cleaner or should I not buy the vacuum cleaner? So if ultimately you create your video and the vacuum cleaner is a good product and you're recommending it, imagine how many of these 50 people are actually going to go purchase that vacuum cleaner. Now, as we keep going down here, look what 100 people would look like. As this crowd gets bigger, this is a room of 150 people. This is 500 people. Look how big the crowd gets for only 500 views. And then as you get bigger, this is a room full of 1,000 people. This is a room full of 3,000 people, including the upper decks. And then if your video got 10,000 views, this is what 10,000 people look like. And you have to remember that all 10,000 of these people are considering the exact product that your video is about. They're not 10,000 random people. And then just to show you a couple more here, this is what 20,000 people looks like. This is what 30,000 people looks like. This is what 50,000 people looks like. Now, although you don't need 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 people to watch your video to make money, I have absolutely done myself and seen other people create a brand new YouTube channel, do what I'm about to explain, and the videos actually get several hundred thousand views. So to put that into context, if you were to look at 180,000 people, that would be this stadium wrapped all the way around. So with that being said, let's actually get into the fun part of this video and go through this step by step. Okay, so first things first, come over to Google and what we need to do is we need to figure out what is the niche or the topic that you wanna create your YouTube channel about. Now, best practice in creating a new YouTube channel for affiliate marketing is going to be creating it on a specific topic. That way, every video that you're creating in that specific topic all relates to the same viewer. This way, you're going to get people who subscribe to your channel and they come back to watch your future videos. But more importantly, YouTube knows what your content is about. They can categorize your channel as it's all going to be about that same topic. This helps us tremendously, so no matter what video we are releasing on our channel, YouTube already has a good idea of who to show that video to. So what this means for you and for me is if I was starting from scratch here, I would be typing in different topics of things that I am passionate about, that I know a lot about. This could be my hobbies, things that my brain has knowledge on already. Throughout this video so far, we've used the example of a vacuum cleaner. Now, although you could make an entire channel about different vacuum cleaners, you could also turn that into an overall niche or topic about different household appliances. So this could be vacuum cleaners, it could be different kitchen appliances, things that the same person who watched your vacuum cleaner video might also be interested in. They do need a vacuum cleaner, but they also need a kitchen mixer. Now for me personally, to give you another example, just to get some ideas flowing here, I've spent the last 10 years of my life building online businesses. So I've been creating websites basically from scratch, learning different softwares that have to do with online marketing and have to do with creating the websites themselves. So what I might be typing in here to get ideas is website building software. 
And now as I look through these results on Google, I'm basically just looking for different products that I've used myself. So I have used Squarespace before. I don't currently use it because I didn't really like the software. Bluehost, I absolutely have used for many years. That's a website hosting software. This is an article here, but we've got Wix. I actively use Wix now. I really like their software. So from this list so far, I've got Bluehost and I have Wix. So I'm next going to type in Bluehost affiliate program. And what I'm looking for is an actual page from Bluehost's website, not a different website, explaining their affiliate program. So I can see right at the top, they have web hosting affiliate program from Bluehost. And then when I click in on this, I can see that on Bluehost's website, they have an affiliate program that offers 70% commission on each qualified sale. So right off the bat, I found that Bluehost does have an affiliate program. Now I'm going to go back to Google for a second here, and I just wanna see if Wix has an affiliate program as well. So I'm just going to switch this to Wix and right away I can see Wix and they have an affiliate program here so I can check out theirs as well. Now looking at Wix's affiliate program, I'm just basically coming through here to see how much they pay per signup. And on their website, they don't actually say how much they pay per signup. They just say that they do in fact have an affiliate program. Now, although I could look into this further and figure out how much Wix pays as a commission and see if that's worth it to me to actually start promoting their product, I'm just going to go with the other one, which is the Bluehost affiliate program because I know they're going to pay at least 70% commission. Now, something important to note here is that I've personally used both Bluehost and Wix and I know in my mind from experience, they are both kind of recommended for different users. So it's not necessarily that one product is better than the other, but the one that's worse pays a bigger commission. So I'm going to be promoting them. That's not something I would recommend doing. I always recommend picking the best product because then the content that you're going to be making is honest. It's going to be truthful and it's going to be ethical. You're going to feel good about helping people because you know that you're recommending the best product to them. So with that said, once you've found the first affiliate program that you want to join, let's just go back and we're going to go to their affiliate program. And all you have to do now is click join now. Now joining an affiliate program for any company is 100% free to join. If a company is saying that you need to pay to join their affiliate program, definitely do research into that because you should not have to pay to join any affiliate programs. The only caveat to that sometimes is that you need to own the product in order to join their affiliate program but that's only on certain types of affiliate programs. So for this, for instance, you just scroll through here, you fill out the information. It's basically your contact information, how they can pay you and where you are going to be promoting their product, which is coming up in the next step, which is going to be on our YouTube channel. So once you've found your affiliate program and you've gone and you've joined their affiliate program, then you'll be able to log into your affiliate dashboard and that's where you can get your unique referral link. Basically, you just copy that link, you post it anywhere you're creating content. And when someone clicks on your link, it redirects them to Bluehost, and when they make a purchase, you are the one who's getting the commission. So once you've got these steps sorted, the next step is going to be creating your YouTube channel. So creating a YouTube channel is 100% free to do, and it's very easy to do. All you have to do is sign in on YouTube on a computer, or even you can do this on your phone or a tablet, and then click on your profile photo in the top right corner and click create a channel. This is literally it. It's 100% free. The YouTube channel doesn't expire, so you don't have to renew it or anything like a website. So now once you've done all three of these steps, you know what programs you want to join, you've joined those programs and you have your YouTube channel, now is the step of actually creating the videos. So let me show you some real examples of this step. As I had mentioned earlier, the type of content that you wanna be creating is not actually sales content of trying to sell the product, but the way to think about it is if someone were to ask you, do you recommend that product? Is it worth it? Would you buy it again? That's the type of content that you wanna be creating. So I'm going to type in Bluehost review and that'll give us a good baseline of videos to show you real examples of this. The first result is a sponsored ad. So someone's paying to be there. So you can pretty much just disregard that one. This is the real results right here. All of these videos here are essentially answering that question of would you recommend Bluehost? So Bluehost review, is Bluehost worth it? Is Bluehost good? And if you click in on any of these videos, this is basically just a video explaining if Bluehost is worth it, different things about Bluehost, if they would recommend it or not. And then when you scroll down right here, you can see in the description, here is their affiliate link to Bluehost. So if I click on this link right here, it's going to redirect me instantly to Bluehost where I can go on and make a purchase. The pricing is going to be the same as if I went to Bluehost regularly. It's not going to be more expensive just because you're using an affiliate link. But then if you scroll up to the top here and you look at the actual link that you are on, you can see that it's not just bluehost.com, but if you actually scroll through here, you can see that it says affiliate right here a couple times. You can see that it's an affiliate link. And when you keep scrolling, it shows 
the Techno Galaxy channel ID. So that tells me that technically this link that I am on right here is going to give somebody a commission because it is an affiliate link. So when you come back to YouTube, you can see the Techno Galaxy is the channel that created this video. So that is their affiliate link. Now, the biggest thing to clarify here is that it's not costing anything extra to use that link. It's just basically giving a commission to the person who spent the time to create this content and share their experience with the product with you. And Bluehost themselves is the one that's paying that commission to the person that created this content. It's not coming out of the customer's pocket at all. They pay the same amount to Bluehost. So now that you've made that first video, it's basically a rinse and repeat process. You want to create more videos about that same product or similar products, sharing your experience with it. And a good way to get similar ideas because you don't want to just keep making review videos is to go and scroll through the results here. So you can see this is an honest Bluehost review, the good and the bad. It has pros and cons. So another type of video you could make is a pros and cons type video about that product. Again, you then put your affiliate link in the description just like you did before and now you're getting more content published out there the rest is all going to be done for you now the last thing that i'll say here is look at these different videos they have 6,000 views 7,000 views now although overall on youtube this is not a lot of views it's not hundreds of thousands of views but looking at what 7,000 people really looks like in a crowd this is only 3,000 so imagine doubling this and every single person in that audience is interested in Bluehost, just looking to see what you have to say about it. This is exactly what I would be doing if I were starting from scratch. In fact, I actually do this myself. I have multiple different YouTube channels that nobody really even knows that I own because I don't put my face on them. I just do screen recorded videos. However, I am doing exactly this in different niches. So I can absolutely put my money where my mouth is. This is where I spend a lot of my effort creating these videos for different channels. I'm going to put links to helpful resources down in the description so if you want to dig into this business model, that's where all of the next steps are going to be. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions or anything that wasn't covered in this video that you're still confused about, just let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you guys all in the next video.